Hello everybody and welcome to another vlog from Zeus Pencil by Peter Gilder. I want to share with you guys something that I have been up to at the very end of February 2024, so this year. I've been to a sanctuary where they have a ton of different seals, a lot of birds, and yes, they do rehab many of them. It's a place which is rehabbing seals already since the 50s, and only in 1975 they started to have their museum and their big building to actually do what they do best, which is rehabbing animals and putting them back into the wild. A beautiful place which needed some help with training the animals that actually stay at the facility. Now one of the first things that we have done was a webinar to help the people to understand the theory behind training and how it actually works in practice afterwards. And that's why I went there, to help them out, to apply the learned theory and to talk about the whole welfare part around it. I just drove about two and a half hours all the way to Ecomare because I'm going to help them out with their seals. We're gonna build this training and welfare program together with them. So we're gonna brainstorm about it and we're gonna do some training sessions and see how we can apply this stuff. So we've talked about the five domains. Now maybe you know about the five domains, but that's exactly what we would try to pinpoint in this facility to help them progress in something they're already doing very very well and that is taking care of their animals so there's three different groups we had to focus on now one group is seven harbor seals the other group has two harbor seals and one ringed seal and then there's another group which has two gray seals each of these groups has their own exhibit so we can really focus on the groups itself. Now the biggest one was the seven harbor seals, which was the biggest challenge. The easiest one was actually the two gray seals. And then beside that, you had the two harbor seals and the ring seal, which needed a little different strategy in the training program. Interestingly, one of the first thing we had to do is wondering what do we want to do within our training program with our animals. That was quite a discussion we had with our team. We had the team sit all together and talk about all these little things to help them to increase the welfare of the animals. Now think for example about the way we handle the kitchen or the way we handle our day planning. Those ones are all very, very important when we want to excel in the welfare of the animals. Then we started to focus on what do we really want to train as a group together. We can just all with nine to 10 people train all the seals all together. So therefore we had to have a plan A and a plan B and that's what we implemented. So we said, you know what? We need to teach the animals to discriminate various areas for one group to still feed the animals and for the other group still to train the animals so we don't get interference because that would be very, very difficult for the animals in their care. When we had said this, we now started to look into which behaviors that we need to have and which criteria that we need to apply. The interesting thing is, is that this basically came down to three specific behaviors. We had the call over, a slap on the water, which told the animals our session is going to start, come to where the slap on the water is given afterwards we want to have them to stay with us and this was pretty rough because there were so many seagulls around trying to steal the fish so what the seals would do is grab the fish and swim away so we gradually started to teach them hey if you stay it's better now how can we then get rid of these seagulls well actually we should focus on the way we give our reinforcement so the seagulls has less of success by stealing the fish and that's exactly what we did and you directly saw great progress within their program. 
after this it was the control position having them with you to then start training the animal so having them with you then make them follow from place to place and so on and we even added a fourth behavior which was selection so one trainer starts with all the animals for example the gray seals just two of them one trainer starts and then says hey you go to the next trainer to be trained we kept sessions short very important then on top of that in the theoretical part we started to help the trainers to train each other to think differently in smaller approximations okay. and we at suspenseful do quite some cool games to help you and your team to understand how this training game exactly works for you to understand how to apply it in practice that's also what we did with the trainers here at ecomare after all of this was set we created our training plans and from out our training plans now this facility had a very good start to be extremely successful in the training and that's what you saw with training these fantastic seals after three days already making fantastic progress We had a fantastic time and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, give the thumbs up and we'll hope to see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye bye.